Hey there, people, if anybody's there. I am going to be working on some ephemera for one of my journals in progress, so I figured I would go ahead and come on live, and we will see if anybody's around to join me. And these are some of the pieces that I have already done for this particular journal. Free watching now. Oh, I'm getting over here to the chat. Let's see here. Or maybe they're lurkers. Could be lurkers. All right. Well, whoever's here, thanks for watching. I am just going to be working on some ephemera. Hey, Gina, how are you? I was thinking about you the other day and your stories with your books. <laughs> the first thing, boy, I've got a different setup here, so this is really weird for me. Okay. I am in frame though, so I made myself a little spot. I need to go get a tabletop tripod because my big one's a pain in the rear to take around. But the first thing I need to do is make some paper clips. So I had nothing left in my stash. Unbelievable, right? I've got all those make-aheads that I'm working on and they're not done. Hi, Sharon. I do not recognize your name, but thank you so much for joining us. Are you working on anything fun today? Oh, Gina, I missed you. I Yesterday was kind of insane around here. I'm sorry, I missed you. I'll have to go back. You uploaded the, the live is available, right? I can go back and watch it. I have not ever done any paper marbling. So these are the images I know I want to use on my paper clips. I'm trying to remember. This is an old, that old Sears replica of a Sears and Robux, Robux catalog. And it seems to be the right size for my paper clips. Hi, Joey. Okay, good. I will watch the replay. What did you use for the marbling? Did you do shaving cream? Did you do something else? Sharon, what are you working on right now? Anything exciting? Let's see, I'm trying to remember how I used to fold these. I think it was this way. Yeah. So I'm just craft along with me. I guess that's what I should have called. This was a craft along with me. That's not the way I want to go. I used to get, that was it. I used to get six paper clips out of one sheet of paper. And I just can't remember what I did. If I did it like that, and then I folded it again. I've only been live a few times, Sharon, so just kind of still getting the hang of all of this. I think that will be, yeah, that's the right size I want. Okay, tear all my papers and then I can glue them. I haven't made one of these big journals for a while and I totally forgot all the stuff that has to go into them. My goodness. Okay, what did I do? I went... And I wish there was a way that you guys could like ding dong a buzzer or something because I'm afraid one of the things I've been worried about with crafting with me is that I would get so distracted with what I was doing I'd forget to look at the chat. Hi Lisa! Ooh, liquid spray, liquid starch. Awesome. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing that replay. Lisa, what are you working on lately? And Joey, what about you? What are you doing today? Or is it tonight for you? It's tonight for you, right? What did you do today? <laughs> you know, trouble with these big journals is they need so much. Whoops. Nobody stopped me. See, I needed a ding dong. I went too far. Let's do this again. I fold it in half. And then I fold it in half. Hi, Connie. Welcome. I'm just working on some ephemera for a journal that I am absolutely positively going to get done by Saturday. Please, please, please. I have to get it done. It's the last commission I have on my plate. And I really need to get going on some other projects that are related to journals but aren't journals. You made an iCAD, mailed out a spinning kit, and Happy Mail. That's all. That's a lot. <laughs> I haven't made my iCAD yet today. 
Although maybe I can count the pockets that I'm making for this journal as iCADs. Yeah, I love ephemera, ephemera too. <laughs> Joey, film the editing and a journal spread. You're so prolific. Joey, what do you use to edit your videos? I've been using Filmora for years. I don't think I'm going to switch to anything. But I'm always curious. I find editing the most frustrating part for me. I don't enjoy it. I love editing my photos. I mean, I was a photographer for many years, but I do not enjoy editing film. Hit film. So look at it. I just... I don't know, maybe if I, after I've done it for 10 years, and I mean, I did, I haven't just started editing film because I used to do videos of the dogs and the garden and stuff, but I just, I don't enjoy the film editing. So I really try to do um, stuff straight through if I can. I was so happy. I did like three make ahead videos and I didn't have to edit anything out. <laughs> what is a spinning kit, Lisa? Like a, like for spinning, Fiber or something else. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, that's what I needed. I needed twelve. And my paper clips. I like feel like I'm nesting here. I've got all this stuff all over the place. A hand spindle and some fiber to spin. I didn't know you could spin with a hand spindle. I have always been attracted to that, but I'm afraid I'm a little too impatient probably to learn, take the time to learn the technique. I know you have to take the time. I forgot a glue stick. There we go. Oh, that one's dead. Have you been, do you have like a big spinning wheel too? So you do all kinds of spinning and do you have a particular fiber that you like to work with? Uh, I do not have a thing that's okay to glue on. Let's see, maybe this magazine will do. Yeah, I, I edit through a lot of frustration and error, too. I think I will probably eventually move back to my um, using my monitor, which will probably be a little bit easier to see what's going on. Do you have to have a special invite for your hangout? Can I come just watch? I would love to watch you guys do that. It's fascinating. I love to play with fibers. I just don't, of course, with my big hairy dog, I keep thinking I should learn how to spin just so I could use up all her fur. She's a, you know, she's a German shepherd, but the, the other name for them is a German shedding dog. Wool and silk, yeah. YouTube at six central. Oh, cool. So Lisa is doing some instruction and a hangout to help spinners tonight. Lisa, my eclectic life. So, you know, make a note of that one. I'm going six. Um, yeah, I might, I might be over there quiet because we'll be watching the ball game, but I can at least watch. I think all my glue sticks are on their last legs. Uh-oh. All right, let's get another glue stick. Hi, Valerie. Welcome. Happy to see you here. I just wanted somebody to chat with while I was working on some ephemera. I really need to make myself finish this thing. I, I let it drag on too long and now suddenly my calendar is like screaming at me saying you have too many things to do. Hi, Tanya. Welcome. Glad to see you here. You know, it's so hard. I mean, it's ridiculous that Going live can make you feel guilty, but I feel guilty when I, I can't reach everybody. So I'm just going to probably do for a while some impromptu lives just so I can play around with it and see what I like doing with it. Whoops, I was off camera, huh? Sorry about that, guys. 
And my husband said that he was willing to wear headphones when he was working from home if I decided I wanted to do stuff in the middle of the daytime. So that was good. So what is everybody's favorite kind of ephemera to work on right now? Mine changes a lot of the time, but I have a whole bunch of bead stuff that I want to do, but I just have not had, it's like a different mindset than working with paper. I did bring some of that stuff out so if I can get to it today, I've got some charms I want to do. Oh, so you have a spinning playlist. Yay. Yay. Yeah, Joey, you're right. Multi-talented Lisa. Does anybody else here do commission work and how do you feel about it? Do you get excited? I mean, I'm always excited, of course, that somebody wants to buy something and have me make something special for them. But then it also kind of cuts into the other time and you think, well, I don't know. Sometimes I get more excited at the beginning and at the end it's like, oh, yeah, I need to I need to slow down and not do so many of these. I think it's because for a while I had like, you know, two a week that were coming in and it was just way too much. And I was doing too many of them the same and who wants to make the same thing all the time, right? I am, this This is old paper, so I'm doing it with a glue stick first, and then I will fold it over again and put my paper clip in it. I just want it to be a little bit stiffer. Fabric collage. I had no idea I was going to get so hooked on fabric collage. Book page envelopes, yes. Yeah, I'm on an envelope kick too. Fabric collage. If you have not seen Annalise, um, she did, I think it was just today, uh, today or yesterday. I watched it this morning. She did a beautiful video that showed how she does the layers on her nature tags, which are very similar to what she does on a lot of her beautiful layered journals. And I really recommend that you go check it out. It is just a stunning stunning um, set of tags and just I love to watch the layering process because as she's doing it I'm thinking okay that's it that's enough don't do any more don't do any more you're gonna ruin it and she puts another layer on it's like oh man that makes it even better and then I watch her do you know another thing I'm like no 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 stop 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 and then she does another one and of course by the time she gets to the end it's absolutely gorgeous and it needed all those different layers and I just I'm mesmerized by her work I just love it Yeah, I love old paper, too. The first book of these that I picked up to do with paper clips, unfortunately, as soon as I went like this with the paper, it just completely cracked in half. So I thought that probably wasn't the best thing to do with the paper clips. All right, that's the sticky glue stick. That's the that's the least fun part as far as I'm concerned. Ah, Lids go back. Okay. Uh, it's Annalise. Let's see, just a minute, let me see if I can do this. This will be a good test for me. I think I should be able to link to her channel. Just a sec here. Um, I should put something pretty in front of you, but unfortunately I wasn't that. Uh, shoot. Just a second, bear with me, people. <laughs> I'm getting there, I really am, I'm getting there. One sec. I am so impressed with people that do a whole bunch of things all at the same time. I just need to get to the video page, there we go. This one, copy, link location, and There you go. Old St. Nicholas magazines. Oh, oh my goodness. I love old advertising. Really old advertising. I've got, when uh, our local bookstore here was going out of business last year, uh, my husband found me this wonderful, shoot. It, it's a beautiful old book that was written, you know, it was reprints from the 1800s of all these stories for kids. But the pages are huge. I mean, it's just like this super oversized thing. And I don't know, it's kind of hard. If I, I don't know, if I use it, I'm gonna lose like half the page. I've got to figure out something to do with it. I mean, I can scan them and reduce them, I guess. 
Let's see, I'm gonna go the other way. I want the small one on the inside, leave a little loop at the top. Actually, let's be smart. Let's do this like the assembly line, right? Fold these in half. I put the little one on the inside. I leave a little something for my sari silk that's gonna go at the top. Hi, Sandra. Happy to see you here. Oh, and the gal whose link I put up is I just really, really love her channel. Uh, so what's fun about this commission is that I'm doing it um, somebody that I know ordered it for somebody I know. So it's the first time I'm creating a um, First time in a while I'm creating something for somebody that I actually know and that's so much fun when you're putting the, the pieces together. Normally I will ask people to just tell me about the person, give me some background, tell me what they like, they don't like, if they have any favorites of something. Spinning hangout tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Okay, so Thursday at 6 p.m. is Lisa's spinning hangout. And hi Lisa! We have Lisa 1 and Lisa 2 here. Lisa Acevedo. I am a name mangler. I admit it right now. Tony, welcome. Eph ephemeral Files. What a great name. I love it. Because you're hooked on Ephemera too. What tell, <clears throat> tell us about you and what you like to work on. And Lisa, what are you working on? Uh, oh, Tommy, I'm sorry, I called you Tony. I'm sorry, Tommy. So tell me the story of your name. That is a fabulous name. I would like to know more. Uh, I did not pay much attention to what was going to be showing on these paper clips, but they're mostly going to be covered up by stuff anyways. Do I have the volume okay? Can you guys hear me okay? I didn't think to check that before I went live. Hi, Cindy. Welcome. Happy to see you here. Thanks for joining us. Wow, 17 people when I just do an impromptu. I really appreciate that, guys. Voice volume is good. Okay, thank you, Gina. All these things to check. I really want to get just like a dedicated space set up. I thought I had it in the studio, but the trouble is, is the, the space I dedicated to the video is actually the closet that's got no doors. But, you know, my walls, if you've seen my studio tour, my walls in the house are like a deep green. And if I'm facing the closet to film, the patio door is behind me and we have no window coverings on it because we live out in the boonies not boonie boonies but we live in the mountains and so there's just the lighting is really really bad and so right now i'm out in the living room at my collage desk which is great except there are shadows i know and my light my batteries on my lights were completely dead and i just said oh well i'm just going to go for it but when we get the garage well when we get the sunroom renovation renovation done this year there will be room in the garage and i'm thinking i might just set up a little studio in the garage Okay, pronounced like Tommy, okay. Hi, Fez. Welcome, glad to see you here. So you just discovered junk journaling. You've been Bible journaling for a while. Mixed media is amazing. I, it's one of the reasons I wanna get all my commissions done. I have got a bunch of jelly prints I need to do. I've got a bunch of eco printing I need to do. I have got a bunch of things with dried flowers I need to do. Yeah, retirement. That's, that's when you don't work so much, right? Except I'm really, really busy all the time, it seems like. Okay, let's get these guys glued down. And then we can do the fun part, which is the decorating. And I shouldn't be doing that right on my desk. All right. <laughs> what a story.
Corey. Oh, Tommy. Oh, wow. I am told my grandfather named me Susan. My mother wanted to call me April Denise, which would have been really strange because I was not born in April. I was born in July. So go figure. Fez, what are you working on today or have you worked on today? A couple weeks ago, we were having so much rain here in California. It was like a, a delayed fall. And then just like overnight, somebody flipped the switch and it is so hot. I think not today, but I can tell perhaps by the end of the week, I might be turning on the air conditioning for the first time for the year. Connie, there's a couple, there's um, one video, my very first time I did it, and um, that talked a little bit about what I did with it. There's two videos, I think, on eco dyeing. And then the next set that I do, I'll do an actual formal tutorial now that I know a little bit more about how I like to do it. But there are a couple of videos, and I think I actually have an eco dyeing playlist that you can check out. Does anybody have an Etsy store they want to give a shout out about? Because I would love to have you guys go check out each other's stores and support one another. That's the other reason I want to get caught up on the commissions because I have been promising to have my store up and running for the last month. And I probably have a couple people upset with me because I kept saying I was going to have it done. I was going to have it done. And somebody, well, several people kept emailing me and I feel really bad, but there's just only so many hours in the day and you just can't get to everything as off as quickly as you might like to. All right. I did not think to bring a rag. I was not as prepared. Ah, paper towel. Good. Oh, you're just waking up. Where are you located, Fez? Oh, being a caregiver is a hard, hard job. Hats off to you and anybody else that does or has had to do that kind of work. That is tough. Really, really tough. I love the collecting. Um, I think it was Carla Caged Fish was talking yesterday. Yeah, yesterday in her stream about just the fun of the hunt. And I just love to collect things too, but I've, I've stopped. I haven't gone to a thrift store in over three months, which is just a shocker for me. I love the thrift stores, but I told myself I needed to finish all my commissions. I needed to get the website and the digi store up and running. And then I can think about going back shopping because I want to be doing some fabric packs and lace packs and stuff. Oh, Lisa, you're going to have so much fun. Right now I've been doing my, my uh, eco dyeing on the barbecue, but I picked up a roasting, a big old, you know, like standalone roasting pan at the thrift store. So I have that and I want to get a steamer too, because it's a little bit, you can do some different things with it and it might be really nice to do for fabric. Oh, wow, Fez, that's, that's exhausting. Well, I'm glad you've got YouTube. You can bounce around to all the great videos out here and maybe get some distraction when you need it because, it, it, like I said, it's a, it's a hard job you've got there and, you know, your parents are lucky to have you there to take care of them. Please take care of yourself, though, too. What happens so many times with caregivers is they forget to take care of themselves. And then they, they can't do it anymore and they just break down and you got to make sure to take time to take care of yourself while you're taking care of everybody else. I'm so mad I um, had done a bunch of picked a bunch of flowers to dry a few weeks ago and normally you know I pack them up and then let them sit for a couple days and then move them to dry paper and then let them sit longer you know takes a long process. I forgot about them. I left them there for like two weeks and I lost, well, I lost like half my poppies to mold. I lost a lot of these neat little native cucumber leaves that I love to work with to mold because I just didn't move them fast enough. So, so easily distracted.
Gina, do you do the distress sprays like um, Jibid does? That's what I do too. And I also learned from her. I just love, love, love doing that. And I do that after my eco dyeing. I will reuse my leaves that I've done in my eco dyeing. I'll just dump them back in water. And then after I've got all my eco prints out drying, I will take those leaves and spread them out on paper and then start in with my distress sprays. And I can usually get I can usually get three papers out of one leaf. Bye, Lisa. I will try and sign in to your spinning thing tomorrow night. Oh, Gina. Yeah, that. I'm glad you had that time with him, too. <laughs> Lisa, number one. Jibid. Jibid has just an amazing um way it's just her artistic mind is just really really exciting to me i get very excited when i see something and i don't know if you guys saw after she'd been on a long break she actually had a couple one or two maybe new videos that came out maybe last month it was so exciting to see something new from her yeah i love those distress sprays i boy i could do them on all kinds of things. All right, now the fun stuff. Let's figure out what's, well, does anybody need to get cleaned up here? Nah, I'm not gonna worry about that. All right. I have 12 paper clips and I have 12 pictures. The pictures are ink, the paper clip stuff is not. Maybe I'll do that later, whoops. Almost used my good scissors. Exactly, Gina. She has absolutely no idea how talented she is. I find that with a lot of really, really good artists, they just, they don't realize, you know, what comes so naturally to them um, is just amazing. Fez, yes, a labor of love. Lisa, <laughs> there are no points off for spelling in chat. Absolutely no points off for spelling in chat. Uh, okay. Let's figure out who's going to go where. Yeah, it's... One of the things that put me off for a long time about the idea of doing lives is feeling sort of like dancing when there's no music, like, oh my goodness, you know, they're going to think I'm nuts the way I work. But we all have different ways of working and finding our way through the process. Okay, now we need lace and stuff. And that's kind of the way it is with me. It's lace and stuff. I forgot to dig out the cheesecloth, so I guess these will not have cheesecloth on them, and that's okay. Uh, what else do we have in here? Um, this and does not need to be that wide. Ah, this one's not gonna tear. Okay, so we will cut it. One of the things in, um, you'll see in, if you go check out Annalisa's videos is she uses a lot of colored cheesecloth and she dyes it with the Distress Sprays, which I think is really cool. All right, that one's okay. Need a different color in here. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm doing this when people are watching, like I totally forgot how to do anything.
I just kind of try and figure out what I like together. I think in terms of three. So a piece of lace, a piece of something else in the picture. See, I'm so bad. Okay, this is what's, I cut apart some fabric and this is, now who would save this, right? Is this nuts? This is just next to nothing, except I know it's going to be perfect to put on a paper clip. And I'm going to get like, okay, it's got lining and... Of course, now if I'd have been smart, I would have separated all this ahead of time, but it's in my scrap basket. So that stuff doesn't get separated until I use it. You made a five gallon bucket. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gina, what are you going to do with them all? That's amazing. I thought I was bad. I still have, look at, I still have all of these here that I have to sew together. I haven't done them yet. I was going to do it while watching the ball game and I got sidetracked into doing something else i'm cleaning up before i i put all my photos into lightroom on my new computer i am going through and cleaning up a lot of duplicate files that i have from from a lot of crazy stuff that's happened on my computer over the last few years and that's what i've been doing while watching the ball games that is too wide i think We'll just cut it right where the stitching is. Yeah, see, I, I can't I can't throw little things like that away. I know I can find something to do with it. Yeah, I like it better on that. Tommy, what do you like to do with the smaller pieces? I mean, my scrap baskets are, are huge now. And Gina, tell me what you're going to do with all of your... Yeah, your husband left... <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Susan made you do it. I love it. I haven't gotten blamed for anything for a long time. <laughs> uh, what do I want? I want some fabric. Where's my fabric stuff? We will not take bets on how long it will take for Susan to knock the tripod over. It's on the left side of my chair now, and it isn't normally over there. And so I'm like totally, I'm conscious of it being there, and I'm still afraid that I'm going to knock it over. This is what I love to find when I'm at the thrift store, this fabric that's so sheer. I think this was like, there was like a solid color underneath it. And it's wonderful because I can use it as a flip, but it's just, it's so light. It doesn't add a lot of bulk. Yep, journaling cards and tags. I have, God, I've got so many journaling cards and tags and I've got this idea. Shoot, maybe I should do it as a main head. If I get these done, I'll do my idea here and you guys can see it first before I do the make ahead video. I just, the person I'm doing this journal for likes to write and think about big questions, big life questions. And so I had an idea of how to add something to her journal for her. So I quickly printed out a whole bunch of stuff and we'll see. Let's see, is that too dark? That's not bad. I should be using my little fab dangle things on these, but. Oh, that's too bad, Lisa. Gosh, I have to be careful. Not, I mean, my thrift store is not cheap. You know, here in California, nothing is cheap. But um, I usually can get, if I pay attention and I'm really good and I only buy the stuff that's on the 50% off, sometimes it's hard. If I find some cotton lace on something, I will probably buy it no matter what the price is because it's just so good to use and it it takes color really well. Yeah, it's too long. I don't like that. And we have over in Santa Cruz, which is the next town over, we have a couple of really nice thrift stores, but I haven't been, over, like I said, three months. I have not been to a thrift store in three months and I'm going to continue to be good until... I get the Digi store up and running. That's going to be my celebration. When I get the Digi store up and running... Then I will let myself go to the thrift store. Uh, where is this one going to go, guys? Maybe we'll go on this one. Okay. New Jersey. Boy, you would think. 
I mean, I thought all the places had good thrift stores, but you know, it's changed over the years. Uh, many, gosh, what, 25 years ago when I was on my own for a little while and I was in Virginia Beach, I was amazed at the quality of the stuff that I could get in the thrift stores there. I hadn't shopped in thrift stores much before then, but gosh, I like furnished my whole house with stuff from the thrift store there. And I do, I mean, mostly I'm looking at clothes. Uh, the last time I went before I stopped going, I found a great little wicker rocking chair that was made for short people like me. I'm only five feet tall and it's really hard when I find rockers and you're supposed to, you know, be able to touch the ground to rock and I can't because they're made for people that are, you know, six feet tall. And I found the cutest uh, wicker rocker that's going to be perfect in the new sunroom. And it was only five dollars. I kept thinking it was the miss mark. Somebody messed it up, but nope, it was only five dollars. <laughs> Uh, do I like that? Do I like that on that? I don't like that with that. I don't know why. Okay, I like it better with that. Back in the day, yeah. Some things change. I'm always amazed when people tell me these things that they have at their dollar store. My dollar store has trash. I mean, there's just nothing really good at my dollar store. So are you guys people that can like zip through this kind of stuff really fast and not think about it? Or do you pause and think about where you're going to put every single thing? Hi, Taylor made journals and Tundra. Yay. Hi. <laughs> Taylor made journals. What is your first name? I'm sorry if you told me before and I don't remember. I know we've been chatting in comments. Took's craft tables. Hi. Oh, looks like this was a good time. We're getting people from all over the place. Love it. I think you guys are making me work faster, which is really cute. Really, really cute. Really cute. Really good. That is Zoe saying hi. Butterflies. Lisa, what kind of butterflies they have? Like stickers or what what are the butterflies? You guys would just, I don't know, you would scream or laugh or cry if you saw the ridiculous amount of art supplies that I can't even bring in the house because because there's no room. Because I was just nuts when we were living in the apartment before we moved in here and I kept buying stuff because my stuff was in storage and I kept buying stuff and I kept buying stuff and it was nuts. Um, yeah, I should not have done that. Should not have done that. I probably, when I get to that paint, it's going to be all dried up. I'll probably still be here, Gina, when you get back. Thirty-three of them, all different sizes. Wow. Yeah, mostly I go to my dollar store and I get the cookie sheets because they are awesome for. Uh, I use them for tea dyeing. I use them for distress spraying. I use them for, gosh, all kinds of things. And then I use the uh, the plastic cutting sheets. Hi, Louise. Oh, glad to see you. Yeah, I'm working on some paper clips for a journal that I need to finish this week. I promise myself it is going to be finished this week because then I can move on to, I'm, it's not like it's a bad journal to be working on. It's a wonderful journal to be working on, but I am got sidetracked with the learning all about VAT and stuff with my digital store and got behind. And these always take me longer than I think they will. I'm always thinking, oh, it's not going to take that long to make the paper clips. And it always takes so much longer than I think it will. Oh, okay. Well, I have not... Like, what kind of butterflies? Like, the like they've got, like, the chiffon kind of... You can, like, bend them and stuff? Or, hi, Patricia! Oh, you're not late? You're here. I didn't set a time. I just... 
I knew I knew I needed to work on stuff, so I figured why not go live and you guys would help me move faster. Not you would not make me work cuter, although if that's possible, if you could make me work in a more cute fashion, that would be really good. That would probably help my views, right? I'm trying not to be one of those people that thinks about views and and how many watch hours and things you have because it's just so easy to get hung up on that stuff and then not get your work done but um i realized that the live stream since my make ahead videos and a lot of my other stuff is so the videos are so short that uh doing some lives would really help i don't like the feel of that shoot i want something bright uh, oh i have yellow lace that'll work uh, let's see um, ooh, maybe that's too bright. Shoot. Why is it the sunflower? I love sunflowers. Why is this the one that's giving me fits? Um, green, maybe it needs green. What color does it need? The <laughs> same YouTube bars. I love it. That's exactly what it's like, isn't it? And no hangover in a YouTube bar. I like that. No hangover in a YouTube bar. That is better. Okay. Everybody's got some. Oh, this guy needs something. Maybe this guy can have the yellow. This guy can have the yellow. All right. Let's get these guys glued down. Let's see. Wow, there's only been one bark from Zoe. You guys do not know how unusual that is that there has only been one bark from the girl. She's getting older. Plus, it's so hot outside that nobody's out walking around. So that's when she goes really crazy is when she can see people walking around. Yeah, this is the part where Susan gets super uncoordinated trying to figure out how to do this, knowing that you guys are watching. No pressure though, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's more expensive in the YouTube bars. I love that. I'm I'm stealing that phrase, YouTube bars. I have not heard that before. Watching while you're making supper. Oh, I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. We did not plan dinner tonight. Maybe we're going to get takeout. When my husband's home, he usually cooks for us. But he went into the office today, so it might be takeout while we watch the ball game. My poor Giants. My poor Giants. They're not having the greatest season this year. Surprise happy mail. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Gina. <laughs> Does anybody else get like self-conscious doing something like gl gluing is simple, right? Gluing is easy. Should not be something to stress about while you're doing it on camera. Gosh, I can stand up in front of an audience of, you know, a thousand people and give a speech, no problem. Gluing on camera. Oh, no, what am I going to do now? Okay, we will get there. It will all come together. It will all be wonderful. Hi, Milda. Thank you. Paper clips for a journal in progress. I should not be letting all this fabric tech get on my fingers, but I have gardener hands anyways. I felt really weird. Um, not long ago, I saw a post in one of the groups. Somebody was like, they were very put off by the certain people's hands and fingers and things that they're watching on YouTube. And I'm thinking, man, you know, I'm a gardener. I'm, you know, I'm a gardener and an artist and I'm always out there playing in the dirt. And I'm lucky if I remember to make sure I don't have dirt under my fingernails when I, you know, turn on the video. But I was never somebody that had long nails, manicured nails. When I was younger, I had, you know, horses and animals that I was dealing with, and you couldn't have long nails around them. When I was poor, you couldn't afford to do nails, and I could never keep them long. I was always doing something that was going to break them off. Yeah, take me as I am. That's it. 
sometimes I, th I wonder if it's an age thing too, or people like I know, you know, my daughter's generation, they love to go get their nails done and their, all their fancy things. I'm thinking about going down. I've, I've been letting my gray grow out and I realized now I really miss my blonde. So I think I am going to go in and cave to that bit of vanity and get my highlights done again, go back to blonde, but everything else, it's got to be some joys of getting older and not worrying about that stuff anymore. I've spent most of my life worrying about what other people think about me. Really, a bad, bad habit. Do not get into that habit. Not worth it. Because really, nobody else is thinking about us nearly as much as we think they're thinking about us. Hey, Lori. <laughs> That's okay. You can't keep up with the chat, but you're here and you're adding to the view time. And I appreciate that. Can you tell us real quick what you're working on? Oh, you're doing a carpet bagger. Wow. I have so many, I mean, so many journals I want to work on. So many, which is why I'm going to slow down on taking the commissions. I really need time to work on some of my other stuff. I've got some nature projects that I'm really anxious to show you guys, but I need to have time to... Uh, to do the you know the experimental stuff first before I show you guys yeah I my nails are just they, there's just what I am it is what I am I do wish I had long slender fingers but you know when you're short I keep saying I'm not overweight I'm just under tall And you just, you deal with it. And of course, I'll be picking Fabri-Tac off my hands for the next, you know, day. I should have put some invisible gloves or something on them, but I didn't think about that. All right, we're getting there. We've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five of them done. Hi, Karen. Yeah, I, the commissions, you know, I have to say it sort of launched me in some ways. I mean, I'm just really grateful for it because the the journal that the, the very first commission I got was for a journal that I had not made before. It was something that the, the gal had a vision of what she wanted. And it was the, you know, the juicy jumbo journals that have lots of room to write, you know, not super embellished. And of course, being a writer first, you know, anything that was like going to give more room to write, that got me kind of excited. And had I not done that commission, I would not have, you know, been working to develop this these sets of journals that I'm doing for people that love to write. So, I mean, I, I'm grateful for it, but I don't like to do the same thing over and over again. And like I said, I've got other things that I want to show people with regard to, you know, using like plant stuff in your art. And there's just not enough, there's just not enough hours in the day. I know. And I work slow. I am so slow, people. I see people are posting things like, you know, I made these three journals this week and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so I'm really pushing myself to get this big one done in a week, which I can do if I just don't let myself get too distracted. Karen, what are you working on? Anything fun? Or are you just hanging out to uh, get some company while you're working on other things? It's funny, I, I didn't think about it, but actually doing this on the live stream is helping me not think about it as much as I normally would. So this probably is helping me work faster. Because if I was doing this on my own, I would have all these reasons to get sidetracked and oh no, don't do that. No, try this. It does seem like I've got the angle of the tripod right, so that's good. Right. Almost there. Yeah, it helps stretch your creative wings. And it reminds me of teaching because you never know what's going to happen. You might make a plan. Like I pulled out so much stuff thinking, well, okay, I could work on this or I could work on this because I really wasn't sure other than the paper clips what I would be doing today. 
And it reminds me of teaching. You go in and you think, okay, here's my lesson plan. And then one kid asks a question and you go down a rabbit hole and suddenly you're doing all these completely different things. So how many people here buy digital downloads? Either once in a while or it's something that you like to use a lot of. Or you maybe you make them yourself. But does anybody like, you know, who, who buys digi kits? It's a whole new area for me. Okay, hopefully this is number 12, unless I miscounted. Thank you for those of you that are here that have done the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Y'all know YouTube looks at that kind of stuff. YouTube looks at everything. It's a little weird sometimes to think of all the things they look at. Okay, one. Ah! <laughs> Taking all the Fabri-Tac with me. I use way too much Fabri-Tac. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Awesome. I wanted two in each. Oh, Connie, you bought your first one recently. Fun. All right. Somewhere. Let's see. Yes. This is the color of the closure. Uh, I love this. Victorian Gypsy Girl on Etsy. I love her sari silk. I love her customer service. I love shopping with her. And on the other side of the pond, uh, shoot, is it Love Me Blue? I think it's Love Me Blue. Bye, Tommy. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. Tunder, I know. Gail is amazing what she gets done in a short amount of time. I, I just can't do it. But I always get sidetracked. I mean, that's the story of my life. People are like, well, why don't you just focus on one thing? Well, it's because I'm interested in so many different things that I don't want to miss anything. Oh, good. This is going to tear right. All right. So if I do that. There's a method to my madness here. These are to go in the tops of the paper clips. Gail also does some amazing things just while she's on camera. Uh, she just astounds me with how much she's able to do while she's filming. Maybe it's something that you get better at. I suppose like anything else, the more you do something, the better you're going to get at it. Ah! Oh, well, that one's going to be kind of skinny. It's all good. Yeah, focus is hard. And then, you know, if I'm working on a project, I need to not, like, it was really bad of me to watch Annalise's um, video this morning because then I get sidetracked. I want to go work on, you know, something similar, and I can't do that. I need to finish a project at hand. All right, almost. Let's see. How long have I been here? I am not sure. Yeah, I go in a lot of different directions too, Patricia. Ooh, that's kind of, let's see how that looks. That might work, that might not. I am not sure. And my house reflects going in all these different directions. And right now there's a bunch of stuff I want to do out in the yard. You know, I want to gather all these flowers before they're gone, either for eco printing, you know, put them in the freezer for eco printing or to dry. So that takes time. Oh, man, I cut these maybe, hopefully they're long enough. Shoot. Let's see. A little shorter than I normally do, but I think they'll be fine. I like them just to stick up a little bit on the top of the page. It's like tying your shoes on camera, right?
Hardcover or softcover journals? What are your favorite to make? I am really loving doing softcover journals lately. Oh yeah, this is plenty long enough. That's fine. One done. Still feels that's a little wide. Let's take a little bit off. Oh, Nilda, well, your first kit and then doing, or your first journal and you're doing it for a swap too. That's, that's a big bite you took out, out of uh, journal making. So hats off to you for doing that. Oh, remaking antique books. Yes. See, and that's another thing. I got to, got to finish this stuff so that I can, I have probably 30 old books that are gutted sitting on the shelf in the studio waiting for me to do something with them. Carpet baggers. Yeah. Did you take uh, Nick the Booksmith's carpet bagger course or did you just watch stuff and decide how you were going to do it on your own? Nilda, does your first journal have a theme? Was it, was it a theme swap or basically whatever you wanted to do? I have not done swaps and I've only gotten, I've gotten one happy mail because of, a, of an exchange that I did with somebody, but I don't do a lot of that because I just feel guilty. I have so much stuff and there's so many people that don't have things that can do the, the random acts of kindness and build their stash and that kind of stuff. I need to start sending stuff out is what I need to do. I'm really bummed that I cut these so short, but. Do you think you think doing a um, hardcover is more difficult than a soft cover tender? I guess I do um, the hidden, um, hidden hidden binding on all of mine, so I guess they're just about the same to me. In some ways, I think if I'm doing a hidden binding, it's easier with the hardcover because I know the packet of the signatures are going to fit right in there, but. The last soft cover I did, I was really frustrated. I, I think I unglued it several times before I was finally happy with it. Yeah, Nick's courses are awesome. She's just, she's got a lot of knowledge. Lots of knowledge. Ooh, all these threads. And of course, I can't throw the threads away. I've got to keep them because I could do something with them. They'll go in my little thread jar. And eventually I will take all my threads out and put them down on some thin fabric and top it with some of that, um, shoot, the stuff that you iron on and then you can, you wash it and the stuff goes away. And then you will have this really cool and stitch all over it and you have this really cool um, new material. And this is uneven. And of course, I would go a lot faster at everything if I didn't still have this perfectionist comp thing hanging over my head that I'm complex. That was the word I was looking for. Perfectionist complex. Still. Every time I think I'm over it, something else comes up and it's like, oh, no, no, you still think you're a perfectionist. You still want everything to be absolutely perfect. Dark fantasy, dark fairy tales. Ooh. I bet you have some really cool images in that. There is a theme for just about anything. Somebody, uh, Tunder, you do masculine journals? I'm curious, what kind of things do you do for masculine journals? I was thinking about making one for my grandson who is, geez, going to be a sophomore in high school this next year. I don't know that he writes, but I was thinking maybe do it with memories or something like that. Yeah, I know. You, you, you overcome it in one area and then suddenly something else pops up and says, ha, 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 look at this. You didn't even come close to what you Ah. 
It is not a perfect knot, and that's okay. <laughs> Almost there. Oh, I'll have to go take a look, Tender, and get some inspiration. Oh, Anne, what a wonderful gift. Did you have themes that she asked you to do them around or colors or... I guess what I'm wondering is, you know, in different areas, what makes it a masculine journal? Um, you know, if you do something that's just old vintage men in them. Wow, what a gift. Writing childhood memories. I guess that'd be a good thing to do for each of my kids, too. Of course, my son's a minimalist, so he'd be like, nope, nope. I want to make him a baseball journal, but I think he's, uh, I mean, he'd like it, but I know he's a minimalist. He doesn't. I guess that's a thing nowadays for the kids. My, my son's going to be 40 next month and my daughter will be 37. And they just, they don't want stuff. Whereas my generation, it seemed like we were focused on acquiring. Or maybe it was just me. <laughs> I've always been a collector. Yeah, the harder I try to make something perfect, the more disappointed I am with, with what I end up doing with it. My Fabri-Tac really went over the edge on this one. Let's see, let's get the sari silk in there and <sighs> everything's sticking to my fingers. <laughs> Uh-oh, did my focus just go out? Everything blurry? It's all blurry, isn't it? I wonder why. Come on. Um, refocus. Is It's blurry, isn't it? Everything's blurry. Why is it out of focus? I do not understand. Huh. I do not know where the focus went. It's I'm recording with my phone. Okay, Gina. Yeah, you need to go take care of them. Give them a big hug and a thank you from all of us. All right. Good on this end. Okay, so then it's just interesting. Good. Thanks for letting me know it's okay on this end, on your end. Because I don't have any options to really do anything when it's on my phone. Also on my list to do after this journal is done is to get the OBS studio involved. In involved. Get it installed. Okay, that's what I can't do on camera. I can glue on camera. Evidently, I can't talk so well on camera. But you are getting the real me. The Susan that stumbles over her words, who is um, at a party. Okay, how many people here? Introvert or extrovert? At the party, I'm the one in the corner behind the potted plant, looking for one person that I can talk to. How about the rest of you? That's so bizarre that when I'm looking at it on my laptop, it's completely like, it's not blurry, it's just like out of focus. It's just kind of hazy, so strange. But I'll, if you guys say it's okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, come on, come on. Let's see. There we go. And one more. Awesome sauce. You're the one serving drinks. Okay, you're really the <laughs> end. Lots of introverts, yeah. My daughter's an extrovert. I, I envy her ability to go into a crowd like that and, and deal with people. I, um, I can do it. You know, when I did a lot of public speaking and a lot of teaching, I can deal with it. But it takes so much out of me that it takes me forever to recharge my batteries. Okay, there we go. 12 paper clips. I don't know how long it took me, but they are D for done. Yay. Let's see. I don't know if you guys want to see them any closer, but 
And actually, I think I, I inked the edges on these little pictures in one of our other live streams that we did. All right. Let's see what else I have on my list here that I need to do. Okay, this is my, my new thing that I want to do. And thank you, Patricia. Um, I have, okay, this is an idea. Oops, where is my other little thingy for doing? I guess we can do it in that color. All right. I did not have any paper handy, so I figured I would just... I have these tickets that I made. Where's my other... Shoot. Aha! There we go. Um, and I wanted to put some little prompts on them. Hi, green macaroni. Hi, Julie. Thanks for popping in. I am just working on ephemera for a journal that I am vowing will be done by Saturday at the latest. All right, let's see. We will. I'm not sure if this will be enough color for me. I might need to. to add the brown to it. We'll see. Normally I would have done these with some distress sprays or tea paper, but I think this will be fine. Five journal covers made. Wow. So did you do fabric covers or paper covers or a combination? What did you cover and how did you make your covers? Are they from books or the cover I'm doing for this one is going to be, um, the base will be just a uh, 10 by 13 envelope. This will look better when they're torn apart. I'll we'll let that get dry there. And should have maybe grabbed third color all fabric oh okay good post them yes looking forward to seeing them do you have themes on them or were they kind of random or what oh here's a question how many of you that make the journals actually use them yourself or do you just make them and then sell or give them away i find that for myself i still go back to I guess it's probably from so many years of writing. I go back to my steno pads, which is what I used with writing all my notes. My books all took place in a steno pad before I put them in the computer. This paper is really weird. It's like the, the ink isn't taking as well as I wanted it to, but I'm going to think positively. This is going to work. Farm journals, feminine, floral. Ooh. Shabby chic. Old encyclopedias. I have in the garage, um, actually the gal that I'm making this journal for, gave me a set of old encyclopedias that I think are going to make beautiful journals in that day that I get done eventually. <laughs> eventually, I will be caught up enough that I can think about doing other things, right? All right, let's see how this is going to look before I put too much more effort into these. What I was thinking... was... Oh! 
husband's home from work. Looks like I will be logging off here real soon. So what do you think? I was going to do a ticket like this and then maybe I can put some book paper behind it. I don't know, do a little bit of something here and then the back will be for writing on. That's kind of what my idea was on these. So let me know what you think. And at least I got all my... <laughs> yeah. Well, we're glad for this one, though. I got one of the good ones, so I'm always glad when he comes home from work. Thank you guys so much for staying with me while I made all those paper clips. Let me know what you think about this idea. It needs to be dressed up a little bit. It's kind of boring. Maybe it needs a picture with it. And then I just want to leave the other side open for them to write on. Reuse Center in Edmonton. Ooh. Good to know for uh, you Canadian folks. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging with me today. I have no idea how, how long we were on, but I really appreciate you all chatting with me and chatting with each other. Go check out each other's channels and make sure, if you haven't already checked out um, Annalise's journaling and that fabulous uh, textural nature set of tag tutorial that she did today. See you next time. Bye for now.